told about her life and how she became who she is. Kana Sivushan, uh, the crop circle behind us was interested. It is an alien face with what thought was thought a computer desk. Um, I thought it was a musical type thing. Jeff Jarrett, one of our local politicians, uh, took us on a trip to uh, to the India and uh, Siberia, and he gave us his perspective on learning other cultures so he could be a better leader in our community. Chandra Bensko again on the show Masks as a Metaphor. And she's always willing to stop. When you see her in town, she'll always talk to you. So just nail her when you see her and say, hey, lady, show me your mask. She's a wonderful person. Oliver and his wife, Slavska, they came from Colorado and brought some fancy equipment uh, that we can work with and have better shows for you. So they loaned me their equipment, and uh, we talked about Chinese super psychics, and that was rather interesting. Planet Percussion, the local band that is very famous now. My first appearance with blue hair. Chico, I think, was the man, the other gentleman's name from Guatemala. We have asked that he comes back. You like him, Millwell. So far, he has not given me a yay or nay. Ingo Swan, we'll talk about him in a minute. Uh, he has a healer named Nick that is part of the remote viewing conferences. We took you to three shows. Lynn Buchanan, one of the original government remote viewers. Uh, we did an interview with him. A King County homicide detective that uses psychics on a regular basis. Can't remember his name. Um, this is another young man talking about remote viewing. The late Gabriel Pettingill, um, this footage was taken before she passed, so she explained via tape what remote viewing was and entailed. Um, a man from Michigan that works with corporations as a remote viewer, and we had a, we had a wonderful time together in Austin, Texas. Uh, Ingo Swan, the most famous psychic on the planet, actually, and he also trained all the psychic spies for the government, and he was featured in Time Magazine and all these other places, and that's the show. I showed you how to bend spoons, and that was so popular. Lots of calls on that. And um, so we spent, uh, I spent a week with Ingo, Swan, Jim Mars, Lynn Buchanan, and all the people that you saw there, and we had a, it was very educational, and it was a week well spent at Doubletree in, in, in Austin, Texas. Yeah, lots of calls on, lots of calls on that, and it works every time. When we got done, some of the metal on the table had bent. This gentleman was on his way to California to take classes with Ed, with Ed Dames, the other remote viewer uh, that you hear so much about. He was not on our program because he's in a different category. Tom Stahl, and uh, he was running for office, made it to the primary, and oh my goodness, I have a comp this is not good. The young lady that ran for sheriff of Okanagan County, she went to the primary, and I have a total blank. Dimash, uh, Cindy Gamash, that's her name. How embarrassing. Tom Stahl, um, as he came on the show and telling us uh, that he was running on free energy, uh, on, the, on that ballot, and Cindy, uh, Gamash, and Oliver, again, with his wife, uh, Slavska. And here we talked about our alien relatives. Uh, not so far-fetched, if you think about it. Now, all these shows are available for, 
on tape if you would like to follow up on any of those. This is the bookstore and the trading post in Roswell. This lady has worked here 37 years. Uh, this woman here is the owner and we was talking about all the people that came to her beat shop and bookstore over the years and uh, we were lost. So looking for maps, we ended up at the uh, uh, some kind of government department uh, asking for directions and we went into all the minerals of Roswell, New Mexico. The prediction show was Kana Shibushan. It was done early in August of this year. We had hoped we could change some of the things, some of the outcome. However, the recent election put us right there where we were when we told you what was going to happen. This was my tribute to Al King, the local artist that passed away. And this is Dennis Balthaser, the gentleman uh, that got the dummy uh, from Roswell, New Mexico. And here he is talking about the intervention from the man in black when he went to Oklahoma trying to retrieve a piece of the spaceship. We took you to Canyon de Shea and the Navajo Reservation. Um, <laughs> I took you in a Jeep and it was very rough and very rugged. Uh, this is a Navajo baby. It was in this canyon that we ran into Douglas Bluefeather, whose music you hear. Now Douglas, to remind you, is the young man that did the part of the music for the movie Wind Talker and allowed us to play his music and that's what you've been hearing all day and um, these are some locals sitting in the canyon and now it was 120 but we had fun with that these are the Anastasia ruins and here at the very end of this clip uh, you will get a little glimpse of Douglas uh, Bluefeather at the time I didn't know who he was now, as when I say now, there would be the man in the ponytail that turned out to be now. <laughs> that is Douglas that was nice enough to let us use his music. And that concludes my tour of the shows. By summer of 2001, uh, the same friend that um, I, when I went to Colorado to film some of the more, more controversial shows came um, uh, he called me one day and he said, I'm upgrading my studio, uh, how about, um, why don't I just bring you what you need? And, uh, of course I had lost my home, I'm now living somewhere else. Uh, I actually had more room than in my whole place, but, um, so I said, okay. So he put the most important pieces of the studio that he was upgrading, put them on a pickup and um, he drove them from, Grand Junction all the way to uh, here to Tomboy where I live now and with that made a lot of things possible for me where I could kind of branch out a little bit and I wasn't tied down to um, just the studio uh, filming anymore and uh, of course I'm scared of technology so <laughs> oh trial and error but I learned how to do this and so as a result of that I now had a um, an analog type uh, studio in, in my house and, and I still do and so uh, it, we had also discovered um, the weather wall behind the curtain at the uh, at the studio so instead of having to buy with camera pick up individual pieces and throw them you know in, onto the shows we now had this um, blue wall behind us and uh, so we could snatch things up and burn it at that and so I, I, I'm not sure, but I think we were the first ones at TCTV using um, uh, using the chroma key. So we kind of had fun with that and trials and errors, of course. Um, but things changed, and, uh, and, and the format of the show uh, changed. We got very bold sometimes, and uh, we still made a lot of boo-boos. It, it was just also a work in process, and, uh, and here you were, uh, the viewers, you went right along with us. And so that was the year uh, 2000, no, that was, yeah, 2001, you, you just um, 
got to watch in 2002, but then we were well on our way to experiment with different things. That's also the year I went on the road for uh, quite a bit. And instead of bringing people to Olympia, I would just get in the RV and off I go and um, and go to other places. And as a result of that, I got to uh, um, talk to a lot more people than I would have if I had one or two coming, you know, to the studio in the month. And so again, everything changed. Uh, this is show number two of the review of all the shows we did. And... Um, Get ready for next week when you can push a button and record the other years. And uh, I kind of hope you enjoy going down this memory lane a little bit here. Uh, it's been fun, painful. It's been fun pulling it all back together so we could um, take a look at that and uh, and reminisce a little bit over the over the years and all the places that we got to go and uh, I don't know how I'm for time let me go see my buzzer here I have a buzzer hey I got another minute um, I haven't been feeling very well and so I, I think I need to put that in here and it's getting harder and harder for people to help me and I've been a one-man army here for a long time so um, but that happened because I got that studio if I didn't have that studio uh, you know, all the equipment to use in my house, I things might have came out a little different, but it's just been really hard uh, getting help, and so I have to make a decision, and, uh, and so we're going to wind down, and um, yeah, a lot of pain, a lot of joy over the years, uh, <laughs> yeah, a little sad, but that's okay. So get your VCR ready for next week and uh, when we're going to cover 2003 and 4. And uh, we got quite a ways to go. And so I think I'll see you next week, okay? With another little background story of how we managed to pull off a lot of those things that you got to enjoy. Okay? Bye. Take us here And you take us there